Hey everybody, I wanna share with you all an art project that I made for my daughter's room. She absolutely loves unicorns. And I don't know if you all have kids at home, like small kids at home, but unicorns are it. And I don't know what's up with these little kids and these unicorns, but if they like it, I love it. So let me share with you all what I made for her room, okay? Um, this is what I made for her room. And then a matching piece, well not matching, but that goes along with it. But basically this is just like the little construction paper. What, what do they call that? Like the little, I forgot what it's called, but you can go to like the dollar store. You can go to the dollar store and get these. But basically it, um, this piece that you see here, the piece that the unicorn is on is this paint paper, okay? It's a nine by 12, it comes 20 in a pack. If I'm not mistaken, I, I may have gotten this from the Dollar Tree, I don't even remember. We've had it so long and I'm glad that we did have it because I didn't have to go back to the school store and buy something else. So I've had this for so long, I apologize. But you, if you search on Amazon, if you're not going into the stores right now, you can search on Amazon and try to find paint paper um it comes 20 in a pack and it doesn't really say what type of what type of material it is but that's just basically it. if you can find paint paper even if it's not paint paper i would suggest that you use uh, acrylic paper uh, only because that is the paint that i use to to make this um this little art thing so um the other thing that you will need is a soft roller I'm not sure if you can I'm trying to zoom in but it's it's basically a soft roller I got it from I got it from Amazon and it's by Speedball and then here's the thing that you will need you will definitely need this so it's the gel printing plate. And um, again, I got this from Amazon and I'm just gonna take it out for you. And it's really easy to clean, you guys. So it's in this little paper, you have to peel the, the paper off of it. But once you get it out of the paper, I would suggest that you keep this paper because um, you can just to store it. Um, but once you take the paper off on both sides, if you see, it is really flexible, okay? And it almost, I, I don't even know how to even describe how it feels, but it's, it's gel-like. Um, and once I get finished with this, I just throw it in the sink with soap and water. And I have like a, like a cleaning rag and I make sure to just clean this really good. And usually all the paint comes off of it. I do not allow the paint to sit on it and um, possibly stain it. So I've never allowed the paint to dry on there. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it will actually stain. But because I, whenever I'm done with my project, I usually go ahead and clean it uh, to prevent the staining. So um, it it's clear. I haven't used it that many times. So I'm interested to see what will happen um, over time. And then the last thing that you will need, again, like I told you all, make sure that you include stencils in your artist toolkit. It does not matter if you're a beginner. It does not matter if you're a professional I don't care if you just want to create art this is just something fun that you all can do at home with your kids <clears throat> and look at all of these all of these came from Amazon it just I I just put in like the little search tool um unicorn stencils or something like that and then you should be able to see them so y'all stay tuned i'm going to show you how i created this for my daughter's room and i hope you all enjoy all right so as you see i've already laid down my gel press and now i've laid my paint in the order that i want to um, put down on the gel press so the first one i'm using is silver the next color that I'm using is light magenta. The next color that I'm using is lemon yellow. 
light green is going to be the next color and actually i have the violet next but right as i started i switched it i'm like no i want to use blue light so that's what i'm putting down before um the violet light blue okay so now i have my roller and i'm just kind of going over it rolling it all around make sure that it gets the gets on the whole press and then because i have craft paper underneath my gel print i'm just using that to kind of clean off my roller before um going back and doing the yellow and green and now i'm rolling the roller over the blue and the purple color so after that i'm just making sure that my roller is completely clean for the most part prior to me going to wash it off with soap and water all right so now what i'm going to do is grab my stencil lay it on top of the gel plate and make sure that it's firmly on as you can see it's, it's getting firmly down by itself um, and if not you can always use your paper which whatever paper that you're using once you put it on top of the stencil make sure that you kind of press it down and kind of rub over it just to make sure that it's firmly down so that once you lift your paper um, you're going to capture all the colors that are down on that plate all right and i think i like that i'm not sure about you but that is what i'm going to use once it dries i'm going to cut off that excess on that paper and then use that all right so now what i'm going to do is see if i can put the paint paper on top of this gel plate to see if i can capture the image of the unicorn that was left over from the stencil and as you can see i captured it on the top half but not much of the bottom half came um out on the paper so what i'll do is just go over put the stencil over the paper and then fill in those empty spaces with gold paint So now I'm making sure to line it up of where that stencil should be just using the image that's already on the paper and I'm pressing it down making sure that it will not move uh, once I start adding my paint to it. Now that may not be easily achievable as you think it would be. Um, so that's why I, I don't worry about it too much once, once I start using my paint um i'm going to make sure that i kind of press the stencil down on the paper using my hands now you will see that this is a lot of paint that i put down the goal of this project is to not put down a lot of paint a little bit goes a long way and once i lift this um stencil you will understand what i mean by that is because if you put down too much paint it's likely going to run underneath that stencil and that's something that you don't want now if it does it does not mean that all is lost i'm going to go ahead and use my my um, art project that i created um, but if you feel like you want to do it over just because you want a, a nice clean look to it then by all means please feel free to do so but um i'm okay with a little bit of run over as long as it does not look just like a complete mess All right, so now we are ready for the big reveal. All right, so I can see the little bit of run over that um, I have with the goal. You may not be able to see it, but I'll show you in a minute.
All right, I hope you all enjoyed that project. It's fairly simple for you to create with you and your child. Um, if you have an older child, they may not need as much help as um, my daughter would need, which is why I went ahead and did it for her. However, I will allow her to just have her little creative time where she creates it on her own, okay? Um, but I want you all to know that um, once again, I am going to cut this portion off that's just the excess of it I don't want to use that portion and then I'm going to use this little construction paper or whatever it is whatever color that I decide to use um I'll just cut if you see it I didn't I didn't have any like of the fancy scissors where it kind of does it for you where it creates the little cute um little cuts on the paper so you know uneven and all I like it <laughs> it's my artwork um for her and um i'll cut this part off and put this and put the leftover portion on construction paper so um until next time if you all have any questions or comments please feel free to ask me uh until next time i'll see you all later goodbye